One of the most iconic landmarks in the Twin Cities is scheduled to get a major repair, a facelift that will bring a big shutdown. MnDOT has renovations planned for the Stone Arch Bridge starting next spring. Our Rob Olson is live in Minneapolis tonight. Rob, the closures will happen in phases across, what, a couple years, right? Yeah, for the next uh, two years, you know, the good news in all this is that the uh, Third Avenue Bridge, the neighboring bridge after delays is set to reopen next month. So there will be a way across the river. But for the Stone Arch Bridge, for the next two years from spring through fall, half will be closed. So you can still get on the bridge. You just can't get to the other side. For all those who regularly enjoy a trip across the Stone Arch Bridge. Whenever I feel like going for a walk, I tend to come down this way. So once, twice, a couple times a week at least. For the next two years, you'll need either another route over the river or simply be satisfied with a partial trip. It'll get in the way of my walk, so it'll, it'll change things a little bit. But I guess I'll go halfway across and come back the other way. So Next spring, MnDOT will be closing the eastern half of the bridge entirely to allow repair and replacement of all that mortar between the exterior stones, as well as replacing stones as needed. It will reopen likely in November. Even though none of that work is on the top deck itself, the crews will need the space. The contractor will be able to use part of the bridge that's going to be closed for their staging of materials. And if they need to work off of the top, they can do that. And then the following spring of 2025, the same work will then be done on the half that connects to downtown. So spring through fall for the next two years, half open, but no way to fully cross. Living on one side of the bridge, I'll be able to use it for half the time if they're doing the other half. But once they start working on the far end over there, I wouldn't be able to walk across on my normal walk. MnDOT tells me they did explore options of keeping a lane open throughout, but decided in the end that simply wouldn't work. With everything going on, um, we we don't want to put the public at risk or even the workers at risk, so we decided to to half it. I'd rather we have it long term than if it, if it has to be shut down for a little while, I guess that's how it has to go. So. So again, the bridge will be fully reopened during the winter months for those who like to get out and exercise then. But again, uh, spring through fall, the next two years, only half open. During this, you will see barges coming in on the river below. They'll be building coffer dams as well uh, around the piers because they need to get under the normal river surface to do the work down there as well. Live in Minneapolis, Robles, Fox 9. All right, Rob.